Section 1. You will hear a woman phoning to inquire about house rental. First, you have some time to look at questions 1 to 6. You will see that there is an example that has been done for you. On this occasion only, the conversation relating to this will be played first. Hello. Thank you for calling Iris Rentals. How can I help you? Yes, hello there. I'm ringing just to make inquiries about renting a new property, and I came across a listing on your website that I'm interested in. Oh, yes. I'd like to find out a few more details, if I may. Yes, of course. Can I take your name? It's Mary Collins. The name of the woman is Mary Collins. So, Mary Collins has been written in the space. Now we shall begin. You should answer the questions as you listen, because you will not hear the recording a second time. Listen carefully and answer questions 1 to 6. Hello. Thank you for calling Iris Rentals. How can I help you? Yes, hello there. I'm ringing just to make inquiries about renting a new property, and I came across a listing on your website that I'm interested in. Oh, yes. I'd like to find out a few more details, if I may. Yes, of course. Can I take your name? It's Mary Collins. OK, Mary. I'm just searching our system for the property details. Is there any information in particular that you were wanting? Does the house have a gym? No, the house doesn't have a gym. However, the house has a large swimming pool, which will be great for exercise and really refreshing during the summer. Oh, wow. That sounds lovely. What is the general layout of the house? This house is rather unusual, as the living room is located upstairs with the bedrooms, and downstairs at the ground floor is the dining room, which has a lovely view out over the swimming pool. Does the house come with a car parking space on the street? Oh, there's no need for that. The house comes with a big garage where you can park your cars, and there's also a lot of room for storage. It's attached to the house through a door in the kitchen. Oh, that's perfect. It'll make it far easier to carry my food shopping into the house. Oh, yes, absolutely. You actually don't even need to take your car to do the shopping, as the local supermarket is just down the street. You can walk the distance easily. Really? How convenient. Is there anywhere near to the house where I can take my children to play? Unfortunately, there aren't any playgrounds nearby, but there is a park near the supermarket that would be great for taking your children for a walk. It would also be a great place for you to meet your neighbours. Yes, that's true. I love taking long walks in the park. I'm sure there will be a playground at the local school anyway. Yes, absolutely. The community has its own primary school, and there is a secondary school in the neighbouring community, so there are plenty of resources nearby for your children's education. Before you hear the rest of the conversation, you have some time to look at questions 7 to 10. Now listen and answer questions 7 to 10. OK, great. What are the rental costs for the property? The monthly rent is $980, which is very reasonable considering the size of the house and the amenities that it has to offer. Does that figure include maintenance fees and bills? The bills are not included in that figure, but it does include any maintenance fees for the garden. That sounds like a very reasonable price. 
We were hoping to move on the 20th of April. Will the house be vacant for that date? The current tenants of the property are due to leave on the 20th, but the cleaners will need a few days to make sure that the house is clean and tidy. This would make the house officially available on the 23rd of April. Well, everything about the house sounds perfect. Exactly what I'm looking for. What date would it be possible to view the property? I have arranged for the tenant to leave the property on Friday, so I can show the house to prospective renters. Would you be able to make that day? Yes, I'm sure I could come on my lunch break. Would one o'clock be okay? I'm afraid that I have a meeting at twelve thirty, so I won't be able to make that time. I have available appointments at ten fifteen and three. Okay. In that case, can we schedule the appointment for ten fifteen? No problem. I'll book it into my schedule. If you wouldn't mind arriving five minutes early, that would be great. Just so we can get started on time. Sure. What is the address? The postcode is G A five eight E R, and the house is number eight on Spring Street. It's the second right off of Bath Street. Okay, that's great. Do you have any more questions? No,、nope, thank you for your help. No problem. See you on Friday. Bye. That is the end of section one. You now have half a minute to check your answers. Now turn to section two. two.